Facebook, YouTube. Here, I, you know, this message is has to be spoken. You know, it's sad. I was talking to a friend of mine at the waterfront named Bobcat, nickname, and he was talking about, you know, he's now starting to read the Bible and for himself. And he's starting to read the Bible and he told me that, you know, he read something and it made him cry, you know. And 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 you know, and I and the spirit told me why he cried when he read what, you know, was given to him. And I told him the reason why you read it and you cried because it was real. You know, it was see, it was so real to you. It was so real to you that you accepted it for what it is and it and, and it impact you very much because we live in a world of course that's all about fake you know lies and lust and the thing is when you read something that was real you know you it impact you very much you know and about Jesus, it was something about Jesus was talking about, you know, how, you know, the two fishes and five loaves of bread. He thought that was so, you know, wonderful. And this message I'm going to talk about is talking about Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Now, the thing is, all through the Bible, all through the Bible, you read about the accounts about Jesus Christ. He stand for what he, you know, talked about. Straight up, been straight up with everybody concerning about the kingdom of God, concerning about a lot of things. You know, Jesus was straight up about, you know, fellowshipping with sinners. You know, he said, you know, I fellowship with the publican. You know, I fellowship with, you know, the sinners and, you know, the other people now, oh, they... Now thinking that I'm I'm like these people, but no, I fellowship with these people because I care about these people and I want to give them the gospel of Jesus, share the God's love to these people. And I mean Jesus been real to you know everybody throughout the scriptures. He been real with the of course the scribes and Pharisees, call them what they is, call them spade a spade. He called them you know vipers. He called them you know. You know, hypocrites. You know, he been straight up with these guys. That this is what y'all all about. You know, and the thing is, you know, Jesus been real with the woman at the well. You know, she was, you know, at the well and said, "Hey, you have like, you know, five husbands, and you know, the one that you stand with, you know, this and that." And he been real with her. You know, and he he been real all through the scriptures. You know. And the thing is, and then it's sad, it's slap sad that, you know, Christianity is not representing Jesus in a real way, in a real manner. You know, it's really, it's sad. I mean, the thing is, uh, Jesus Christ, we're supposed to follow and imitate this real man, and we're being fake about him. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to, you know, act like... You know, you know that Jesus can is is, is accept these things. He accept you know certain things in in a certain way, but he's not. You know, we're trying to make or you know belittle. You know, Jesus Christ is what he already established in the scriptures. You know, what I'm saying of what kind of person he is. He always been real. It's just that the Christianity. Now it's treating him fake, you know, like, oh, you know, Jesus is this, you know, you know, and the thing is, denominations, you know, and, you know, traditional images and, you know, division. I mean, it, it, it's in the religious image. It's, it's ridiculous. This is not a real image of Jesus Christ. And clearly in the scriptures shows that this does not define Jesus Christ concerning tradition. Read Mark 7. Read Matthew 15. I mean, a, a religion. Matthew 23. 
You know, it's it's there. Division, Matthews 12, 25. I mean, so many times, and Paul, of course, expressed so much the lack of division. 1 Corinthians 1, 10. You know, it's just crazy how much, you know, in the Word of God and even in Colossians, you know, it just, it's just mind-blowing how messed up, you know, people can tarnish a real person's image like this, you know. It's just unbelievable. And people are not really being real about it. Yes, Colossians 2 and 8 talks about the tradition of men. You know, in the rudeness of this world that are not after Christ. I mean, it's been there, but yet people are not, you know, manifesting a real image. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, babes in Christ. That you, if you're a babe in Christ, that learning, you know, the word of God and learning to become a Christian, cool. I'm talking about people that are in leadership in maturing you know, in the maturity of Christ and being manifested as an image of Christ in television and radio and whatever aspect that people see you. that you're, We're not presenting a real Jesus Christ for what he really is, you know. We're not being straight up, you know, about Christianity. We're not being straight up about the things of this world concerning the, the political world, about abortion, gay marriage. You know, and all kind of nonsense that is going on in the world and not being straight up and says, you know, this is wrong according to the word of God. Here's the scriptures. Bam. You know, this is where we stand. You know, it's it's crazy how, you know, this world and this world is really looking for something real. You know, they settling with the fake reality of this world. You know, they know this world going do operating these things in the world is going to lead to death. They have a good understanding. But, you know, in the world saying, oh, we're keeping it real, you know, no, the world cannot never keep it real. Because if they're about darkness, you know, and, we, and we're created in the image and the likeness of God, a God of light, a God of righteousness, that's fake. You know, the world can never keep it real. They will never keep it real. As much as they rap, you may, or sing, or whatever they do on television, they will never be real if it's about darkness. I'm sorry, because we, like I said, Genesis 1, 26, you know what I'm saying? We're creating the image and likeness of God. That is the real reality image of a humanity, you know? But the thing is, the church world is not really showing forth the real image of Jesus Christ, and it's time for us to keep it real. We, it's time for the Keep Jesus Christ Real movement to happen and be real and be straight up and stand up for Jesus Christ, for the word of God to let people know that Jesus is real and his love is real. His love, you know, cares for you and want to develop you into a true, you know, person and not a false person. And it has to begin you know, that we need to start keeping Jesus Christ real right now because we're living in a time that, you know, the coming of the Lord is approaching. The coming of Jesus Christ is approaching. And if we're not going to keep it real about him, then we really not going to, you know, manifest what needs to, you know, be manifested to the, of the light of Christ to shine out this darkness. It's just too much darkness in this world. It's just too much. I mean, it's some. I walk around. I listen to so much darkness, and it's like, wow, you know, to be comfortable in this darkness is crazy. It's just too much of it. I mean, if we are believers of representing the light of the children of the light, it, we should be uncomfortable of the darkness that is going on in this world. You know, we should be, you know, shining a light. We should know that we need to shine more brighter concerning the darkness of this time. And we need to, you know, you know, Matthews 5, you know, let our, so let our light shine unto all men, you know. We need to get to start shining this light, you know, Matthew. 
Matthew 5 and 16. You know, let our let your life so so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which are in heaven. That needs to be mandatory. Mandatory at this time we're living in. And it's time to keep Jesus Christ real according to his word of God that's in the Bible so people will know can can receive a real Jesus and, and want to be real like a real Jesus, you know, and stop being fake, you know. And look, I'm not sinners. I'm not trying to belittle you at all, you know. I, I You know, I have the sympathy of a sinner because... If the church represent light, you know what I'm saying, we should be, you know, ministering to sinners, you know, like Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And when you draw people unto him, you will become as of the light. You know, uh, this here message is not for, you know, talking about sinners or babes in Christ, but this is for the mature Christians. You know what I'm saying? It's time to shine forth the light of Jesus Christ to the realest, to the utmost way, to let people know that Jesus Christ is real. And that's what, you know, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, has told me to tell everybody. Now, if you don't think this is, you know, Jesus Christ talking, some it has to be seriously wrong with you, spiritually. Okay? That's the message, all right? To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. Jesus name amen Jesus Christ is real and not fake